warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Ajax against Lazio. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. making the difference here I'm gonna go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings fast and direct he'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pace and crosses not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best oh, quite no argument for me on that one in again it's good distance on it Made sure that that won't get through. That's all. It's come loose. Shona. Perolo. Tries a through ball. Ricardo Van Rijn gets flagged offside. He was expecting a better ball than that. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. And he's onside! And he's whipped it in low. Goal! Ajax! And Ajax take the lead! Simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. And he's cut it out. Patel. Ajax are enjoying a good spell right now, and leading. Well read, he sorted that out. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Donazi. And it's Djordjevic. Parolo. Rashedli Bazor. Now the pass. Schoener, he's onside. And out to safety. Trevor looks like a good ball through. Ajax somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call, though. Now it's Djordjevic. Looks to slip it through. Whistle's gone. That for offside? Yes, it is. Through. 
the ruler. We hit half time. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Ajax go in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And we're off again. Ajax carry a one goal lead into the second half. Another piece of really good defending. Patel with the ball through. It's there to get rid. Alex Lulic tries a through ball. Djordjevic. Barolo! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Just as well, the defender was on hand to mop up the loose ball. Looks like a good ball through. Schoener. Goes for the cross. Not this time. And it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. There he is, making his presence felt. He's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. Now it's Djordjevic. Bonazzi. Fine defending there. Defence has got rid of that. Fine defending there. Goodell passes it through. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Schoener fires it in low. Goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! The time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Now the cross. And somehow he managed to miss it. Oh, it was a real opportunity to get right back into this game, but they've got to forget it now, move on, it's gone. for sure and if they don't get the job done from here he'll look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three goal cushion should have finished things off oh you could tell he really wanted that yeah he's definitely a player who looks like he could make something happen every time he's on the ball he's just full of belief and energy it's Klassen good first touch and almost as good a second David Klassen did exceptionally well to control that and get the shot away while he still had just enough room and he generated excellent power too. That should encourage another effort or two. Lazio keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Time added on four minutes. Oh, he's come flying in. So that's it, it is all over. Decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt they were the better side and the result reflects as much. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? 
When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.